Hello, it's Mr. Bush here with uh, basically how to do today's homework. Alright, we have two different assignments today. Um, basically one that should look like this. That has a Scantron on the back side right here. And we have a second one that basically looks kind of like this. And then we went over some instructions today on this side basically to help review everyone over um, what well, we forgot this weekend. Alright, so let's go ahead and start with the one with the Scantron. Alright, now basically what you're doing here is going to be balancing equations. Now it looks a little confusing at first, but this is designed to make it a lot easier on you, okay? So, first step is you need to basically identify our, um, our reactants and our products here, okay? So basically, reactants always are at the beginning. So they're always going to be here at the beginning. And then products are always going to be at the end. Now, the way you do this is you basically work through each problem. But you start off with our reactants. Now, in our reactants, if you look here, there's no number. So you would have only one iron. You would have one oxygen. Now, if you notice, I'm putting it on the top one over here by the R. That's letting me know that this is how many uh, irons I had in the, uh, in the reactants. This is how many oxygens I had in the reactants. This is how many uh, the, uh, the PDs we had in the reactants. And if you look right here, do you all see this number there? That basically means you have two fluorines in that, in that compound. So you would say you have two. Now down here for products, okay? So if you look here, we have basically, we have one iron, so I'd find the products right here. Now I'd write one for my iron. I have one oxygen. I have, let's see right here, one PD. And if you look right there, our subscript says that we have basically two fluorines. Alright. Now if you look here, basically everything is equal. If you have the same number on each side of our equation, I like to go ahead and put a little sorry, equal sign here. Basically that if each side is equal, then it's going to be balanced. Now let's go ahead and skip down and do one that is going to be unbalanced. So let's look here. All right, so we're going to do number uh, number nine together. So if you look here, let's glance over. We have all of our elements there. So we're going to start off by labeling our reactants, and then we're going to label our products. All right. So once again, following that same rule, reactants at the beginning, products at the end. So basically, with our coefficient here. You have 2 times this entire thing, so 2 times 3 would give us 6 lithiums. Now, 2 times no number there, which would be 1, would give us 2 phosphorus. Now, and then 2 times 4 would give us 8 oxygens. Now, once again, that's only on the reactant side. Now, let's skip over to here. 3 times no number on both of these would be 3. So you'd have 3 sodiums. And then you'd have, oh, sorry. Sorry about that. I had to have some is issues with the paper. So you'd have 3 bromides as well. Now let's skip over to our products. So we're going to go over here to our products. Now you have basically 3 sodiums. So you write 3 there. Now, no number right there would mean you would have one phosphorus. There you go. All right. Basically, that four would mean you would have four oxygens. All right. This three would multiply across for both of these since there's no number. Or it's both one. So you'd have three lithiums and you would have three bromides. That bromide is giving me some issues. All right, so if y'all look there, you basically, as y'all can see, a couple of these numbers here are not the same. 
Now, a few of them are, but here's the thing. If there's one of them that's not the same, then it's automatically going to be unbalanced. All right, hopefully that is helpful on that particular worksheet. We'll skip over to the other one. All right, now this one also focuses on uh, basically coefficients and subscripts. So let's go ahead and do number 14 together. So if y'all look here. Oh, sorry. Okay, my bad. Sorry, here we go. So basically, what you're going to do is multiply this by this. Because what this means is this is how many of these atoms are going to be in one molecule. In this number right here, the coefficient, that is how many molecules you have. So basically, you'd have three groups of two, which is kind of the same thing as multiplication. So you'd have three times two, giving you sorry, six. And then you have 3 times 5, giving you a total of 15 oxygen atoms. So basically, you would have 6 of these Vs. You have 15 Os. And that would be the total number of atoms inside that um, compound. Now, let's go ahead and skip up here and see how we work with our, uh, what do you call it, with our um, parentheses. So you look here. First step, like in math, you do parentheses first. So you'd have 2 times 3 giving you so 6. So you write the 6 up at the top. 2 times 1 gives you 2. Then once again, so this 2 is for the silicon. That 6 is for the oxygen. All right, now if you look over here, this, what this, basically what this means here is you have 6 oxygens in every molecule of this entire compound. You have 2 silicons in every molecule. Now... If you look here, you basically have five of these molecules. So you would have five times two giving you ten aluminums. You would have five times two up here, because remember you have two of these silicons, which would give you ten silicons. And then over here you'd have five times six giving you thirty total oxygens. That's it. All you do is multiply your parentheses first. Then if you have a coefficient, you multiply across. Remember, if it's not in the parentheses, it's not affected by them. All right, hopefully this is helpful. And um, remember, the homework is due tomorrow. If you need any help, uh, swing by before school, and I'll try to do my best to help you. Have a great day.